What's up, guys, and welcome back. More Fragtastic experiences. It's your favorite X here. And man, let me tell you, I got a banger video for you guys today, man. So we have here a 10K combo with the Great X and the Ice Gauntlet. All right, now, low end, you can E number is kind of like 8K, okay? Um, so it's not always going to be consistently 10K, but you should easily see numbers between 8 to 10K if you're in light armor. Probably around 6 to 8K if you're in medium. And, you know, scale it down for heavy. Heavy sort is kind of making a comeback. I'm starting to see a little bit more heavy gameplay. But this combo is kind of really made for light and medium users. And we did kind of touch base on the initial guide to Great X Ice Gauntlet. This isn't going to be a long in-depth. It's going to be very, very short. But I just want to go over this nasty combo with you. And some uh, changes we made to the gear after testing and kind of just figuring things out. So big changes that we made. Um, we tested both this ring and also the smooth bone ring um kind of has two different things i was trying to test with the smooth bone ring i was looking to see if the if keen awareness would give us a little higher um uh, some higher crits essentially just by guarantee that it, during the combo we do get some good crits um so i tried testing that out but then i came to realize that with so many people like myself running four or five pieces of resilient um and then having the freedom on there too the freedom doesn't make a huge huge difference but the resilient it really does when it comes to crits of course um that keen awareness really isn't as best as it used to be. So I am actually going with a raw damage option here with the slash damage because resilient simply cannot counter base damage like that. So we're kind of working around what everybody's meta build is, which is obviously resilient, uh, resilient freedom. So this, the slash damage on your ring will be essential for this. Um, you can use... The smooth bone ring if you don't want to spend money on getting a slash damage ring if one's not available to you you can use this but expect a little bit lower numbers okay not tremendous right but you'll you'll notice a difference um hardy is essential of course on the ring but so hardy slash damage third perk is whatever if feebly kind of works it synergizes well with my feebly maelstrom and then also if i were to use my um hammer which i still use a lot um you know we kind of can synergize well with that as well too with the shockwave uh, so moving forward to the second thing, okay, and the second thing that I want to make sure we kind of touch on is having the chain fire perk or a perk like flame attunement. I think flame attunement's a good one, right? Having a chain fire or flame attunement in combination with thwarting strikes or enchanted. Now you can use either or. This is obviously going to be thwarting strikes um, in chain fire. This is going to be a little bit stronger than flame attunement. Touch more. That's a separate video. But um, what you're looking for essentially is that extra damage proc every two seconds. So you're getting it both from Chain Fire or Flame Attunement or any of the other Chain or Attunement uh, perks. So you're looking to get that proc, that extra 11 or 15% damage um, is really, really going to feel nice. It's really going to feel nice. Obviously, single target um, Flame Attunement kind of beats out Chain Fire a little tiny bit. But again, different video. Um, you might see a little bit slightly higher numbers. The only reason why I bring it up with Flame Attunement um, but I simply don't have a Thwarting Strike Flame Attunement one. So because I don't have that combo, for me, the Thwarting Strikes and the Chain of Fire does kind of make sense. Um, but one thing we talked about before was the burst damage with the Ice Gem in there. It's not a thing, bro. It's not a thing. Like, trust. I tried it, and I just I, I kept getting higher numbers with, with having Opal in it. And I think a lot of that has to do with, one, we lose uh, quite a bit of damage off our Grav Well. Um, with this gem in here i don't have the precise exact numbers but um we definitely lose damage off that and somebody actually even commented that in the last video uh, so we do lose damage on that i did test that out outside of that it's it's just you're really playing a niche you're really just playing off of either being in the ice storms all the time um and if you're a solo player you're not always going to be able to set that up yourself you know what i'm saying for me i'm always dodging i'm always moving and grooving so for me, the Opal, it just makes more sense. I think it should make more sense for everybody. However, I'm sure there's that duo group that's going out there, you know what I'm saying, that has their, their right hand man, you know what I'm saying, their mage. And you guys, you know, synergize well and have some great. You might be able to pump something more out there, but I really don't think so. I think you should stick with the Opal. Opal is just, it's just so strong, man. It's so strong. So when you put all that together, you're getting the chain fire proccing every two seconds for the extra addi additional 11% damage. Warding strikes obby because we stay with grit. Um, and then you're getting the the 15% off the opal man. 
this is a huge factor in really delivering a huge burst um, huge burst damage lastly one of the things well, maybe not lastly but another thing obviously you're gonna want to get is a uh, honing stone i would recommend obviously powerful honing stone of course that's the best though you're not going to see a huge difference between the powerful one or the uh common one i think the five percent one is as low as i go i don't really like using the four percent much more uh anymore these days just because um players have just gotten better gears gotten better all that stuff i at least want five percent you can you know anything below that no nah, but five percent and up you're chilling get that extra bit of damage going down on that um it's gonna you're gonna see it's gonna feel real nice and with that being said man i think that's really all we have to go over oh i did add also healing tomb to my gloves um just because sometimes when we go to reset when we're playing off our cooldowns obviously we in tomb where if we get too deep so being able to get the extra 10 percent health back then prop you know and pop that infused health potion or that infused region is, is very key it's very big right like it helps with our sustainability the uh, longer we're alive the more damage we're dealing the more kills we're getting so it's really really cool really cool so i like i like having that as well too um so moving forward we're gonna go over the the rotation of the abilities you want to use i don't recommend altering these these uh rotations i think that this is literally the sickest combo bro um and you'll see you'll see a few clips here but it's not only single target combo this combo because of great axis cleave and the way the damage works with the abilities it's actually something that can be done on multiple enemies so just think about this you go in here you see a great big ball of people you see one or two people whatever the case may be and just knowing that you can delete them just like that in a span of less than two seconds yeah let's get to that i know you want some of that bro let's get to that man if you guys enjoyed this if this helped you out um definitely make sure you guys like subscribe comment all that good stuff would appreciate it if you haven't seen the first video that goes over just kind of our thought process and how we how we kind of feel about this build that video will be linked down below in the description and uh yeah let's rock